Yeah, yeah Brian, go ahead. You're on the air. Howard, hey now. Hey now. Hey, um, you going to have them uh, two people in today or on the phone? Though? I got to get that porn star. I'm so furious with her. Well, oh, what happened? Yeah, what, what was the deal with that? Hey, I got Kevin on here. Listen in, Brian, okay? All right, man. All right. Hey, Kevin, this is the winner from Schwinctionary yesterday. He went on the date with uh, the porn star, Lexis. Lexi. Something. Lexi Bardot. Is Lexi Bardot around? No, of course not. You know why? Because yeah. she fucking, she totally chose this guy, Kevin. She hustled us. She hustled she us. Hey, Kev. Hey, Howard. What's up, man? So Kevin was a virgin. He won Schwinctionary. And, you know, like, I can't force some chick to fuck Kevin. But, why? But she kind of said, you know, I'm a porn star and I'm going to fuck this guy. So, yeah, I just want to say one thing, right? Yeah. I'm like, I'm really fucking pissed, but hey, I appreciate you guys trying to help me. I'm not mad at you guys. I know you guys did everything you can, but I mean, I, it got to the point where, I mean, th- you want to know what happened? I'll sum it up real quick. Yeah. I got in, okay, and she didn't want sound in there. I said it was okay. Right. So as soon as they leave, she goes, you know, I can't have sex with you. And then right there, I'm like, oh my fucking God, uh... not again. Yeah, you know, here's a girl. Can I say something, Kevin? Yeah. Here's yeah. a girl, and I was going to get her on the phone today and yell at her. That's why she didn't call in. Yeah, here's I know. Here's a girl who drinks urine. Jesus Christ, and she I can't have. That. Yeah, yeah, she drinks <laughs> urine, and she can't have sex with you. I mean, and you know what? Okay, so let's say she didn't want to have full-blown intercourse with you. She's a porn star. She kind of put it out there that she'd be wild with you. So, you know, walk in, take off your clothes, give Kevin a lap dance, maybe rub his dick a little bit or something like that. You know what I mean? Well, I asked for well, a, a blowjob. I asked for a lap dance. She told me to whip it out. She wouldn't even touch it. She told me she would uh, touch it a few times. I go, well, can you at least jerk me off and finish me? No, nothing. Man. So I go in the bathroom, and I go, I'm go, I'll just get it up myself and uh, try to get just about done so when she touches it a few times, I'll be done. And then I come out after about a minute or a half, and she's like, let's just drink beer. I'm like, I don't know, 246 wow. days clean, no alcohol. I'm like, maybe that's not a good idea. She's like, oh, here, have a beer. We'll go out and hang out. I'm like, dude, I don't want to hang out with this fucking bitch. Right. Now she's trying to get you to fall off the wagon. Right, she's yeah. trying to break his sobriety. Uh, good move. 246 days. That's the hardest shit I ever And what happened? Did you drink the beer? Yeah, I drank the oh, beer. Oh, dude. Oh, man. I, I thought, dude, Howard, shit. I was so nervous to begin with, and now I just feel like the biggest fucking douchebag that this whore oh. can have sex with me. So well, I was like, dude, I'll just drink the goddamn beer. I'm stressed. You know, I was nervous to begin with. Well, then that's different. <laughs> No, but I'm sorry you went off your sobriety, but here's the deal. You know, this chick, you know, she's supposed to be so wild, and she knew the deal. She knew the score. You know, right. she she wanted yeah. the plugs and everything. We treated her like, you know, we treated her nice. Gave her a lot of plugs. She yeah. gave the most fake Sibian ride we have ever seen over yeah. here. Terrible. Oh, my God, I love this thing. <laughs> And, like, she totally fucking, you know, just kind of used us for the plugs. And, you know, we were being nice to her and all that. Because, hey, you know, it's pretty cool that a chick would you know, give herself to Kevin as a prize. But, I mean, she got in there. She wasn't even, like, helping him. Like, at least get naked. And this. She, he walks in and she says to She's him. She's a nun. I'm not getting <laughs> naked. I'm not showing what? you anything. I'm not touching the you. The porn star became a nun. Yeah, I mean, she he could. not let me lay on her bed and get comfortable. I'm she wouldn't let him lay on the bed. She wouldn't let him lay on the fucking so bed. So she treated him really like crap. Look, and she treated all, him like ha- crap. She didn't do the right thing. And in all fairness, a Kevin, much like me, is, look, very repulsive. <laughs> but no, but he's not that. You know what? Drinking she urine. Not true. By drinking way, urine. She ain't no beauty queen either. And, you know, even the listeners said, no wonder the guy couldn't get it up. You were supposed to get him a porn star, not a crack whore. You couldn't drink that bitch cute. Well, well I yeah, I mean, you were very complimentary to her. Yeah, and, and I'm not going to go. Yeah, first of all, she's not a crack whore, but. Secondly, I'm going to, although maybe, I don't know if she is or isn't, but the fact of the matter is, uh, the fact is that, you know, we were complimentary to her. We treated her with respect. She wasn't the best looking girl who ever no, came up No, she here. wasn't the best, but she had a good body. I'll give her that. She hey, did. I was happy just to, like, hopefully to lose it. I wasn't complaining, you know? Here's another guy who says, I just saw that skanky hag on the website. I wouldn't <laughs> fuck her. And here's an, with Artie's dick, he says, I can't believe you guys would offer up that big nose cunt as a prize for such Ooh. a funny contest. What a bunch of horse shit. I, I'll tell you what, I'm just encouraging my audience not to buy our video. Bullshitter. She was really a bullshitter. You know what, Kev? Are you a local guy? <laughs> 
Uh, Tom's River by Seaside. Oh, perfect. Dude, I'm going to get you laid. Come to my gig at the Borgata March 30th. There you go. I'm, 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 I'm trying to get uh, get there. How no, you, 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 don't worry about it. it, it He's he, got you covered. Artie's covering you. Oh, I love you, Artie. You I, are my... I, I'm going to be Artie in 20 years. I'm telling no, you. No, no, no. Oh, Artie's, my God. You, you're, not, you're, not re- you're not reading me too. Artie's going to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> He's going <laughs> to he, uh, blow you at the very least. Oh, that's, there was one more thing I didn't tell you. That's not true. <laughs> what? Um, she also, um, right after, uh, uh, the, uh, who was the guy, Greg, the camera guy, right before he came in, she wanted me to lie and say we done it. And I'm like, oh, and I got on the phone with you, and I just didn't know what to do. I was Good like, for you. I call her out right in front of you? Yeah, you should have. I felt so embarrassed in front of her, and then I was like, I can't fucking lie to Howard. I'm, I, like, I'm not going to lie to the fans. And Fuck well, that. I'm not going to lie for her, you know? Well, she was supposed to call in this morning, and she didn't. Which, of course, she's absent without yeah. me. And I really do I really do think she kind of misled everyone. And I'm not saying, look, okay, maybe she had second thoughts about banging you, but she could have been nice. She could have said that right here. Yeah. Why I mean, take him over there and get Get him drunk. The guy's trying to stay sober. Yeah, yeah, the one that, thing he's trying to do, she well, takes away well, from him. And, and I mean, she drank piss. Okay. The only thing I'm doing good at. <laughs> well, listen. Did it lead to anything? You didn't like fall off the wagon big time, did no, you? No, I, I put after one beer, I was like, no, nah, no more. I'm like, oh, good. I love good for it. You. Kevin goes, the one thing I'm good at, I fucked up <laughs> on the stupid I date. I know. That's what I'm saying. Doing good. No more PCP. No, nah, nothing. No, you I mean, were smoking angel dust. Oh. oh. Jesus, Artie, I loved it for a while. When I was 15, oh, dude, oh, Jesus. Jesus. I, I had dreams about it. Did you do anything crazy on Angel Dust? Because like, there are guys who cut their own dicks off when right. they're on Angel Dust. No, not that crazy. I just remember once I got really high off it. I couldn't feel my legs. And me and my friend got in the car and, like, idiots, which is not cool. We just... Uh, didn't even notice. We were just flooring it through red lights for like an hour. Stupid, <laughs> oh, but, my uh, God. Know, you don't know what you're doing on that. That shit's dangerous, man. I've seen the like, guys, like, the, the cops try to subdue them on PCP, oh, yeah. and they don't feel anything. You could break their bones, and they don't feel right. it. Right. They're getting the crap beat out of them. Mm. They don't even feel it. Surprised Artie's never done that. I, uh, I have never, uh, to my knowledge, smoked angel dust. I had a couple of buddies in high school who were way into it. Like, that's all they smoked exclusively. Wow. And it, it's scary shit, man. It, it's embalming fluid. It, I believe it, it is. It embalms your body, but um, look, dude, come to uh, come to the Borgata March 30. You can bring a friend, and we'll, we'll rock guy, and roll. Should this guy get in touch with you? Let me put him on hold. Yeah, we got your information, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll get in touch with you. Right, don't uh, burn him, though. I'm mean, going to burn him. He's been burned enough, Artie. There's always one more thing. There's always some broads hanging around, so we'll roll the dice. Thank you, Artie. You're the greatest. Can I you love tell you. them that he's a professional comedian about to get his own show on HBO <laughs> so that he gets laid? That's the line I use. All right. I mean, Joining seriously. a cast of Entourage. Yeah, well, look, I can't guarantee anything, but we'll do whatever we can. I don't know. Bring him around with you. You know, and tre- say he's, he's your brother, even. Yeah, no, we'll... Fu- these bitches like that. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll look at by the end of the night. If we got to pay for it, the money comes out of my pocket. How's that sound, Artie? I love you, man. <laughs> All right, Artie, you're a good man. You. Artie's a good-hearted dude. <laughs> He's a good guy. I mean, you know, we're both the same. Except Artie's uh, loved by everybody. I'm. I think I'm hated by every well, no. girl. And you know what else, man? If I ever do have a bachelor party, let's have this guy. He's yeah, a good dude. Of course. Oh, we should. It's yeah. like a dream come true, Howard. I've well, we feel bad. Years. You know, it's Howard's reputation on the line. Yeah, Howard yeah. said he was going to do something, We're and not, he not, didn't not get it done. Dad, his chick, she shamed me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Johnny, you know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I mean, you know. I don't know what happened to her. Maybe she got cold feet. I don't know. Maybe she never intended to do it. I mean, it sounded like she never no. intended to do no, it, and she wanted to just sort get of get the plugs, get the plugs, and and get out of here. Maybe yeah. she got cold feet. Maybe all of a sudden she regained her vision. A million <laughs> things could have happened. Well, you know, well, Artie is the president of the Make a Pussy Wish Foundation, and <laughs> <laughs> we're going to see if we can make this happen. Look, you know me, man. When when regular chicks don't work out, and that's most of the time, I am not ashamed to go to the hua. <laughs> And uh, Atlantic City is known to have a few, as long as you don't mind, you know. Well, boys, remember it is illegal, so yes. try not to. That's right. No, it is try illegal. Try not to break the law. Yeah, right. try, you know, try to get a legitimate I'm vagina. Wrong. Yeah. All right. Three felonies. As I'm if there's such the a law, thing. Man. Sorry, Kevin, what'd you say? I have three felonies. I'm not breaking no laws. You know what I mean? Right. No I one's going to know anything. Yeah, Kevin, you... you just don't look like a guy with three felonies. <laughs> All I know is poor Kevin will go with Artie. He'll get laid, and the next thing you know, he's in prison for five to ten. <laughs> Now there's a good, there's a TV movie. They lock him up and throw away the key. Yeah. Stay away from the whores. Yeah. All right. Oh, good job, Ken. Thing, yeah. Um, Stern Fan Network, I was uh, dreaded to look at it because they were the nastiest people, but they were really cool to me. It was about like 
eighty percent on my side, zero percent on her side, and the other twenty, the other twenty just said I should be in the whack pack. That's pretty good. Yeah, we like you. As a matter of fact, I was talking to the guys yesterday. We got to use Kevin for something. There's something likable about him. And- you know, maybe you know, we were talking the other day about uh, how we don't have anybody to cover events here and ask questions. Yeah, maybe Kevin's our guy. Oh, nah, Robin. Actually, oh, Robin, you don't get carried so away. Oh, dear. <laughs> we got that worked out, Howard. We do? Who's we're, doing it? We're sending out, uh, very soon, we're sending out high-pitch Mike. Oh, <laughs> good, okay. He's good. All right, Kevin, thanks, and um, hold on, and we'll, I don't know what we'll do, but Artie's going to get in touch with you. I'll get in touch with you. All right, Sirius uh, Satellite Radio, the best, Howard. I record every show on cassette. Thanks, I know Kev. I'm sick of I'm on cassette. cassette. I love it. Thanks, Kev. Thanks, Howard. Bye, Who's guys. still recording things on cassette? Kevin is. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up Kevin, Gary, and talk to him. Okay. Thank you. Lisa G is here. Let, let her come in and do her thing, and then I'll talk to the founder of VoteForTheWorst.com. His name is Dave. This guy's on to something. I like his style, and he's absolutely right on with his Sanjaya uh, movement. Hello. Hi, Lisa. What do you got for us in the Howard 100 Newsroom? Howard Stern, there is a war going on. Okay. I'm wearing my camouflage today. It's between. Yes. Oh, you know about, You heard about it? Yeah, Iraq you're talking about, right? No, in the newsroom. What do you mean? What's going on? In the newsroom. On? This is bigger than and a rack. between the newsroom and backstage at the Stern Show, it's between Will and Jason, editors mm-hmm. of Page 69, the gossip column here at Howard 100, and Howard 100 Steve Langford. Why? What is the beef? All right. So Steve had some uh, things about Page 69 in his news headlines, and he went back to Will and Jason to check the facts. And Steve said, well, I checked in with Sal, and the facts aren't 100% correct. Right. And Will and Jason got upset and t- at Steve saying, look, this is a gossip item. It's about Sal. You shouldn't go to Sal and check the item. Right. You're ruining the surprise of it and what page 69 is all about. Right. And Steve, being the news person that he is, said, look, my facts need to be accurate. So I'm not going to do the page 69 item. Can I jump in? The guy's, well, the guy's point is, if... If it's going to be an argument or if it's not correct, let that unfold on the air, not in the back office. Uh, I'm confused. Me too. I really don't understand the problem. What was the gossip about him? It's that Sal pulled his pants down in the office, like he was showing off that basketball tattoo on his office. Okay. And a saleswoman was coming by to give a tour. Right. And, like, she oh. saw it and she was, like, trying to freak out, you know, trying to stop the tour. And it would have been a funny conversation to have in here, like, if you were like, Sal, what happened? You know, right, you're an idiot. because he is an idiot. Yeah, but, you know, so Steve went to Sal and says, oh, is this story true? Sal, of course, says no, there's parts of it that aren't true, so he doesn't talk about it on the air that day. And it's like, A, it should be brought up on the air because it's funny to hear you yell at Sal if, if that's what you want to do. He's not. Do you he's, care about this argument, Robin? I don't know what they're talking about. I understand what they're talking about, but does anybody care? No, but I'm saying it's I've lost interest. I'm not listening. Yeah, all right. All Good. I'm saying is that there's a lot of items that come up on this show from page 69 that are funny on the air, right? Right. And that he shouldn't be the one editing those out he shouldn't be deciding what's true and what's not Steve, true. Steve, what do you have to say about this? Everything we do, we check right. to see if it's true. Right. That's what we do. It's yes. not a news story. It's so, a gossip item. Uh, whatever item it is, uh, I go by and I say, listen, is this story true? And in that case, Sal said, well, listen, it's not exactly. So I what is, what the, is that noise? What, what is, is going on here? It's Robin's boat. Robin's what? Robin's boat. No, I can't. Stop that for a second. What? Went away. What are people doing around here? Making me mental. Trying to get out of this story at any rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 right, I, I, I don't care. Goodbye. What do you all do again? I forget. All right. Jason, goodbye. Get out of here and go do whatever it is you do. Who gives a shit? Don't be kidding me with that. Go over there and lose weight. Just be on time with my breakfast, Will. Steve, Jay, Will. Come on, guys. On? Come on, brothers. Let's hug it out. Come on, guys. Yes. Is there These a... two are the best there are. Is there a real problem here? Is there a lot of clashing back here? What's Not going on? at all. I love these guys. Well, no, Steve, that's not factually true, and I can't let you go to the news with that. All right, we've got to be very got factually true with Howard TV. There is something going on here. I love Steve. He's a great man and a great reporter and a good friend of mine here. But Steve is dead wrong on this issue. And for the first time since I've been here, I, I, I felt that Steve didn't understand the show and the nature of the show, and that, that bothered me, and that's where, that's where I'm upset about it. Steve, do you see any validity in their, uh, their claims here? <laughs> well, no, they don't seem to understand. Uh, the problem is... Uh, 
I'm not going to do made up news. Uh, the minute they said to me yesterday, before I went on to do the headlines, this story may not be true, I was like, I didn't say Whoa. this story. I didn't say this story. I didn't say no, the story. Said this, I said stories. there are stories. Yes. May not be true. And I was like, not, Ooh, we may run this another God, day. We're, no, we're going to have to hold up. Fuck him. I'm so sick of this. Whoa, 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 Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> All right. What's the matter, dude? He fucking pisses me off. He's like talking to a fucking wall, and it's still a big joke to him. So go fuck yourself, Steve. Go do your news stories and go have fun. Whatever. You don't get the fucking show, so blow me. Will, you're gay. This is Dave. Dave is the founder of a website called VoteForTheWorst.com. And Dave, I'm intrigued by your latest uh, thing on Vote for the Worst. I've joined your campaign. This is the Vote for Sanjaya movement. Yeah. How many people do you think go on VoteForTheWorst.com, Dave? I don't know. We get about a million hits a day, so we get a, a ton of people on the website. But, you know, it's, it's obvious that we don't know how many people of that are voting. So, I mean, but like I said, we get about a million hits a day. And on, like, show nights, about two, three million hits a day. When did you develop the website VoteForTheWorst.com? Um, it started back during uh, American Idol 3. Right. We, um, I had watched the second season, and I was like, you know, this show is kind of not as good as everyone says it is. And, you know, there's all these terrible people around who would be so much funnier if they would last longer. Right. So, you know, a lot of us got together and said, hey, let's uh, try voting for the bad people and just as a joke and see what happens. And then it kind of grew, and now it's what it is now. I think in Sanjaya you found a lightning rod because... Sanjaya is the type of guy that you'd really... I mean, if he won, it would just be funny as hell. I think in the past, nobody cared that much. I think this is the one. I know I care. I'm encouraging my fans, which we uh, you know, we have millions of, to vote for Sanjaya. Yeah, because You're, really, he should never have made it through auditions. Dave, what do you think the uh, odds are that Sanjaya will get through this week? Um, it's going to be really tough this week. I think this is going to be the big week because... This week is the top 11. The top 10 go on the tour, so they have to tour all summer and make money and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So you know the producers do not want Sanjaya on that tour. So it's going to be really tough for him to get through this week. I would love it if he did. So, so let's would hope. I. But it's, it's going to be really tough for him. Does Dave, he think they cook the books sometimes? I'm glad if, you brought that up. Uh, if they don't want something to happen that's happening? That really shocks me. Mm. I, the reason I liked American Idol is that I thought that it was based solely on the audience vote. Right. Are you afraid that Sanjaya, this whole movement, could be disrupted by the producers? Oh, definitely. I mean, this seems to happen every year, too. Vote for the Worst seems to get a lot of press. And then that week, our person goes home. Every single week, every single year. So, you know, we think that, you know, it's too much of a coincidence. But yeah. we would love, I mean, especially like having the backing of you guys. I mean, you have so many, I've, I've gotten so many emails from people who are saying, I listen to Howard Stern, I don't watch American Idol, but I'm going to vote with you guys this week. And I mean, it's been like hundreds of emails. Yeah, tonight so. is the vote. We're all going to be voting. I'm going to be voting. And the, the trick is to keep voting over and over and over again. Now, <laughs> HowardStern.com will have instructions on how to vote for Sanjay today, too, in an effort to join with the vote for the worst .com. Tell me about a little bit of background of yourself, Dave. How old a guy are you? I'm 24. Okay, and uh, how old were you? You say season three. So were you about 20 when you started this thing? Yeah. Okay, and were you in college? Yeah, I was in college when I started. Was this a goof? Like, uh, you, you never thought it would come to anything, right? Oh, no, definitely not. <laughs> do you vote for the yeah, worst on any other shows, or is it just American Idol? Uh, we tried doing it on other shows, but it wasn't as fun, just because right. it seems like American Idol's the cheesy, awful show that's more fun to vote for. All the other ones, it was just kind of like, oh, well, who cares? But American Idol, it's fun to kind of mess with. So There is someone who doesn't approve of what you're doing and I'm doing, uh, <laughs> and he wants to speak to you. Let him on the air. Go okay. ahead, sir. Hello. It's Eric the Hello. Midget. Eric the Midget is very much against, and I, and I bet you get a lot of male people who feel you're ruining American Idol, because I'm getting it, too. Oh, yeah, tons of it. I mean, we get so much hate mail, and half the letters are spelled incorrectly or, you know, have terrible grammar, So it's, <laughs> but I get tons of those letters, yeah. Eric the Midget, I'll give you a chance to talk to Dave right now, but you must make it quick and make it loud. What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you so set on ruining Idol? See, we're, I don't think we're ruining Idol. I think what we're doing is making it more entertaining for us. I agree. I mean, if you if you want to vote for your favorite contestant or the talented contestant, you can do that. And, you know, if our contestant sticks around an extra week, the person who went home was going to go home the week after anyway. So we're not really – I don't think we're really ruining it. We're just, you know, helping ourselves enjoy the show more. This is making it fun for me. Exactly. I mean, it's, I'm it's interested it. in the show again. Seeing Simon's face when Sanjaya gets voted each time, <laughs> is, it's just a fuck you to him. It's great. I mean, he's freaking out. They're all freaking out. Paula starts crying. It's wonderful. 
Exactly. A lot of people say that they couldn't watch the show, like their their wife or their husband or their girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever makes them watch the show, and they hate it. And now, because of Over the Worst, they can actually be entertained with it. So, I think it definitely, you know, it even brings in more viewers for American Idol. So I don't see why they would hate it. <laughs> Eric, one last response. Go ahead. So, well, even Sanjaya looked like he wanted to go last week. Mm-hmm. When he was walking back to his seat, he had a look on his face like, God, why didn't they get rid of me? I think he's probably guilty that, you know, he's there and he wasn't singing as well. But, I mean, he's just like anyone else on the show. He wants to win. Of course. So, I mean, we're just trying to, everyone says we're crushing dreams, we're running the show. We're trying to help Sanjaya's dreams. Sanjaya wants to be the American Idol, too. Yeah, I like you know? what you're saying. Yeah. You got a girlfriend, Dave? Uh, no. Kidding. Are you a no. troll or are you a good-looking dude? No, actually, I'm gay. <laughs> oh, you're gay? Yeah. You doing any guys? Maybe, maybe that's yeah, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> what is that, uh, Eric? Maybe that's why you like Sanjaya so much. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. <laughs> Sanjaya, your type, Dave? No, not at all. Uh, I'm not kidding. You're gay, huh? Yeah. Do you uh, have a boyfriend? Yeah. He said he did. You have hearing problems? <laughs> all right, Eric. Oh, you're so angry. You making any money with VoteForTheWorst.com? Um, yeah, it's not making a ton of money, but it's making it's making some money on the side. Like it's, it's like a side thing for me, and then mm-hmm. um, most of the money goes back into the site, though, because you know, being such a popular website, it costs a lot to run, and you know, getting all the people that come by and hate the website and write me hate mail, and they're like, "Oh, you must be making tons of money off of this. You must be making," and I'm like, "No, I have to put a lot of money back into it because you spend all day on the website refreshing it because you hate it so much." So. Can you uh, can, can you make ten grand a month at least? Uh, no. No, not that much. No. So you're not going to get bought out by Google or something? No, definitely not. <laughs> I see. But so I, I have one last thing to ask him. Mm-hmm. Now, are you are you are you a are bottom you, or a top? <laughs> no. <laughs> you stop, Howard, for a minute. All right. Are you part of the reason why Fantasia beat Diana? Uh, no, we didn't vote for either of them that with that week, so that would have nothing to do with us. Are you a top or a bottom? Um, neither right now. <laughs> What's that mean? I'm not, you know, having sex right now. So why are you? You, you have a boyfriend. Why are you? No, I bo- do, but we we just started dating, so. Oh. You're not even blowing each other. <laughs> well, maybe, but. <laughs> of course. I mean, why would two guys wait? I don't understand what he's telling us here. I understand women have issues, but if I'm gay and I'm on a date with a dude and he's, he's my boyfriend. He's got a boyfriend, and you claim that's not having sex if you're blowing the guy. Okay, fine. If, if you count that, then yes, we're doing that. But All right, so you're blowing each other. <laughs> yeah. And you're saving yourself for your wedding night. Of course, yes. <laughs> I understand. In other words, anal is something you'll give him if he marries you. Yes, there you go. <laughs> is that true? Hmm? Why not give him anal? Um, I don't know. We haven't done it yet. Are I'm, you a religious person? <laughs> no. You're saying you're sa- How long have you been going out with this guy? Uh, three months. And still no anal? No. Wow. I'm shocked to hear this, Dave. <laughs> you don't Times give... they are a change. Have you ever given anyone anal? Yes. Oh, you have? Mm-hmm. What is poor guy? Three months. And, and he's the like... bo- new boyfriend who's <laughs> hanging in there with you can't get it. Does he want anal with you? Probably. Yeah. Well, what's the what's the tease? I mean, what, what? You're not sure if he's the one? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I can't believe you're holding out. I'll tell him that you said that. And is this... A new thing, like you're holding out now because it hasn't led to a relationship when you've been so easy? Um, no. I think I'm just selective about who I date, so. But I wonder why you're holding out for yeah, three months with the Yeah, why this guy can't get it? I don't know. I'll tell, I'll tell him that you said that, though. I'm, I'm sure. He'll... I'm a little shocked, Dave. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I'm shocked you're not giving the anal. <laughs> After three yeah. months. I mean, if I'm a dude and I'm with yeah, another dude. Yeah, you're saying that's a boyfriend. Yeah. You call him your boyfriend. Yeah. Have you guys discussed whether or not you're going to do anal eventually? Uh, no, not yet. I mean, it hasn't even come up? No. So you guys are busy really blowing each other, and as soon as someone starts fucking around with your asshole, it's like uh, you just pucker up? No, we haven't done that yet. Wow. Maybe he's not into anal, your partner. Maybe. The great thing to me about being gay is if it's two guys, there's no waiting. Just put it in my ass. <laughs> like, why should I make a guy wait? I want it, he wants it. To me, if I was in this, uh, a gay guy having this much issues, I- I'd go, listen. Let me just triple check that I'm not into pussy. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me let me try it again with a chick because I don't know, maybe something's Yeah, maybe off. you're not gay. Have you ever tried sex with a woman? No. You might not be gay. 
Get in some pussy, man. You might go, holy <laughs> fuck. What, what was I thinking? Wow, I'm shocked to hear this, Dave. I really am. Most gay guys... I, I, so I, I, are you in your 30s, sir? I don't know. No, he's 24. Are oh, you 24? It's a man, well, don't you hear? I mean, <laughs> but I think even most gay guys that age have, a lot of them have tried a chick. You know what I mean? Uh, and, no, and, my, my, my cousin's gay. He says, girls, ugh. Never. Never. Really? Never would he ever you paint never himself came, with pussy. You never came close, Dave? No. 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 Mm. Wow. I find it strange that Dave has had anal. He and, likes it. And he won't do it with this guy. I got to tell you, Dave, you're blowing my mind. <laughs> I didn't say we wouldn't do it. I said we haven't done it. So, no. Are you more like the girl type? Like, in other words, you're the one, like, stopping, like, oh, you know, I'm not ready yet for anal. You know. Oh. Um, <laughs> you're the one with the American Idol website? That's <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I'm just saying, are you more like the girl going, you know, I'm saving this for a special moment? and? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Wow. Oh, so it's going to be some, you know, big deal when you do it. God, what yeah, a, yeah. What a like, surprise. Like, like, what do you think will trigger the anal? Like, what what, what, <laughs> what would have to happen? Um, Sanjaya is sticking around another week on American Idol. How about You're that? saying if Sanjaya hangs in for another week, you will give your boyfriend anal. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's even more incentive. Another reason to vote. What a surprise that the leader of the vote for Sanjaya yeah. movements of uh, a homosexual. Oh, come on. I said a homosexual. I like this guy, Dave. So do I. Dave, uh, I like it. Just think most gay I like people. what you're doing. I even like you saving yourself. What do you think of that? Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> Save your ass. This is big. You're getting a lot of attention on the website, over a million hits, and tonight is the night. Now, if I go to the website, you will give out the phone number for Sanjay and everything? Yeah, what we do is as soon as we know what the number is, we'll put it up on the site as, you know, the first post on the, on, it's, it's kind of blog-like, so the first post will have his phone number in it, it'll tell you what time to call and all that stuff, so right. everyone checks out the site as soon as uh, Sanjay, I mean, we don't know when he's singing, so he may be singing late into the show, or early in the right. show, but as soon as he sings, we'll put his phone number up. But I'm with you, pal. I'm, uh, I've joined, and I am definitely voting for the worst tonight. That's awesome. We appreciate it. So. You bet. And Eric, Eric, you, come on, man, join the fun. No, I'm not going to do it. Do it. Join the fun. Just vote for no. Sanjaya once. Once. No. He says he's going to be on there voting for someone else over and over and over again. Eric, who are you voting for? Lakeisha. Lakeisha, she doesn't need votes. She's going to be fine anyway. Vote for Sanjaya. She, Sanjaya needs votes. Sanjaya exactly. needs every vote he can and, get. And in the, in, the, in the newspapers, they're saying that Lakeisha and Sanjaya are like best friends now. So you have to vote for Sanjaya so you can help Lakeisha because they're best friends. She would be so sad if you went home. What a gay conversation, isn't it? <laughs> I know. He's, he's, I think he's got him on the... But he's, he's getting to Eric. He's, he's getting to Eric a little bit. No, he's not. Not at all. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Without Sanjaya, I don't think I'm watching American Idol. I, exactly. I'm telling it's you, boring it's this boring. Show yeah, they don't have uh, anybody who's really charismatic this season. All right. Well, well Eric, you're making a mistake. I wanted to see his sister on, not him. <clears throat> All right, Eric. We know you're straight. You can't get his sister, so vote for him. Who's right. his sister? <laughs> yeah, if you vote for him, maybe he'll be happy and he'll he'll send his sister over. Sister was hot. I oh, saw her, really? Yeah. All right, hey, hey, listen, uh, uh, Dave. Mm -hmm. Good job, man. Vote for the worst dot com, and let's okay. see what happens. And, and call me back if we're triumphant or if we lose, and let's let's do the analysis. Okay? Okay, sounds good. That is Dave. He is the founder of Vote for the Worst dot com, and we have joined in uh, arm in arm, in solidarity. Yes. And we hope that we are successful despite Eric the Midget's evil anti-campaign. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Thanks. That's Dave. Bye. Goodbye. For now. Let's go to uh, Steve Langford from the Howard 100 News team. Let's go to John Hine. And let's, of course, get to Robin, which is very, very important. Let's go to Steve first from the Howard 100 News. Just some of the stories we're working on in the Howard 100 Newsroom. Is Riley Martin about to propel himself out of the serious orbit? Oh, I can't believe I didn't even get to speak about this today. What's this? Well, Riley's last show is tonight, I believe. No. This is where I think Riley's going to go blow up and, and scream about right. what a cheap fuck I am and, and Tim is a piece of shit and uh, <laughs> use the N-word. I think the meltdown's going to happen tonight. Uh -huh. It's uh, 7 o'clock. On then I got to be there. It's on 101 <laughs> at 7 o'clock. But um, I may call in to stir the pot. <laughs> oh, please. It's going to be. We should all call in. Midnight Eastern. Midnight. Midnight? Midnight Eastern. 
Why, uh, by the yeah, way, yeah, Jackie's joke hunt is. Why won't you give me a promo o'clock. card? There's a promo card right in front of you. Yes. It's probably covered by all the other papers, but I put it. No. In. Where is it? Show me. It's taped to your console. Oh, oh, down here. Guys, come on. I don't look. Come on, I put it in 50 fucking places. No, right up, right up on my oh, console. Oh, bullshit. Here. There, Here's what you see. Come on. Where is the note? Wait a second. This isn't even the note. Show me where it is. Come here. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Oh, oh, underneath two papers. You said to Get out of here. You said put it there. You're fired. Can Unbelievable. It? Hold on, hold on. Everywhere else I've ever put it, everywhere else I've ever put it, you're like, Gary, just put it there. I'll fucking find it. I put it all over your console. Gary, Und- don't cover under the papers, meters. Robin. Don't cover the clock. Don't cover the other notes. And I said, well, where would you, you like it? Thank you. Thank you. You're Perfect explanation. Please. Yeah, okay. Sal's gonna get his ass That's my favorite Baba Boo song. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one too. This is a good one. <laughs> you can do that. Oh. <laughs> 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 So funny while we play those those songs, <laughs> Sal's out in the hall in various Gary masks and giant bobbleheads. <laughs> you know what's so great? I know Sal's Achilles heel. He's jumping around, jumping around, having fun. And did you see the way he just walked away dejected? Yeah. I said it's a good thing you have that fucking mask. None of your bits are funny. Then he, he just walks away all the <laughs> That deflates him. Uh, anyway, Steve, you were doing the news. Go ahead. The Riley Martin story. Negotiations between the king of outer space and Tim Sabian said to be stalled in the stratosphere. And Howard 100 News has the audio tape of negotiations between these two intergalactic warriors. What Stay you tuned. You have vi- audio tape of Tim and uh, Absolutely. Riley? Absolutely, yes. How come Tim doesn't give that to yeah. me? That's top priority. Oh, they ha- you have the actual negotiation? Yes. Wow. I, I gave it to you this morning. No, Where is everybody it? Everybody gives yeah, you Scott. everything. What? Scott has it. No one, no one shows oh. it to me. I get. Gary, get in here. Hold on. Hold on. What are you talking? This t- is the first I'm hearing about it now. Jason said he gave it to Scott this morning. But Scott- where is that fucking nincompoop Scott keeping material from me? That motherfucking bald asshole. <laughs> Why do I have him in my life? Scott, get out of my life. Oh. Where is my tape? You they, scumbag! Yes, I'm a scumbag. You no, know, you, you know I'm not laughing. You no, fuck. No, it's Jason. Where gave is my it, tape? Jason gave it to me and said, "Work on it when you get a chance. Oh. It's eight minutes, and I was, we want to cut it down." I said, "All right, I'll get to it." When you would know. you get he, to it? it well, he said it wasn't top priority. When, if I was told, Jason, that, so now it's you, you fuck. He, if I was told that it was going to be needed right away, I'd no do it. No one right knows right. that. that, that, that what that, a deflection what? seminar! What? This so, is. So what are you <laughs> doing? Boom! Kid, you mean I got fifty guys back there? No one could sit and cut a piece of tape. I can give you the whole thing. Give it to Sal and Richard, not you, Scott. Why not? I, because I mean, Sal and Richard would have had it for me in five minutes. But I was, I was told that no. I didn't have to get it to you right that Jason, second. Jason, no. is that what you told no. me? No. I got the second. At what time would I hear this? The Tomorrow second I later. got a, an, an email about this audio, I gave it to Scott. I go, here's where you get it. It's eight minutes long. Cut it off. And let Tim listen to it before you give it to Howard. That's all I said. You guys are nuts. You, I mean, I, I'm I telling you, he said he came in. He said, I, "Work on it when you get a chance." What time did you what get chance? the audio? I got it this well, morning, like seven o'clock. But it's no good tomorrow. Today. Yeah, Riley's <laughs> show comes on tonight. I understand that. 
I Why give, was I, give I up not on CC'd on this email? I'm there's sorry. So I, thought, many, I thought Scott knew it. There's so many motherfuckers working for me. But Would wasn't you? there a procedure? Doesn't all no. this stuff, isn't it all Scott. supposed to go Jason, through Gary? I'll go through Gary. I forget. I'm sorry. I Why don't you contact Gary with this? I, I made a mistake. I should have told Why are I your people Gary? not contacting you? Honestly, what is your fucking problem? Get your fucking guys in there and fire some of these motherfuckers if they don't talk to you. That'll teach them. You better get tough, motherfucker. <laughs> I mean it. I don't even know what to say. A guy but I tell you what, nobody respects me. you. A guy who is a hard worker tried to take the initiative, gave it to Scott, Scott Saturday. No, so the initiative now, is to give it to you. You're the producer. But okay, that's, that's, like, right. that's like on Saturday Night Live, they skip Lorne Michaels and they just approve a sketch without him. It right. don't happen. None of it can get on the air without you. You're, I'm I'm but, but I, I, you're keeping too many people around. You're, you're fucking me by, by, by not being tough. I'm fucking you by... Oh, you yeah. fucked me. <laughs> you fucked me. And my uh, listeners, who pay money to hear this show. I'm sorry that you're fucked. Wow. Why don't your guys come to you when they have a piece of tape? What are you busy with? I will launch a fucking investigation. No, you won't. The fucking Warren report. Yeah, it's real funny, Gary. Warren it's report. It's not funny. It's like, you know, you're... You, you, I'm a what? What am I? You mean you I see, care about my work? Your fucking phone uh, it's there. okay, Riley Martin. Who cares? Okay, that's what I'll say, Gary. That's just like you. How, it's my fault. I should have told Gary I right. got the Why audio. Why don't you tell Gary? I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't think of it. I got the, the, the audio. I gave it to Scott. I thought it was being taken care of by Scott. I'm sorry no, for Scott not... Scott doesn't take care of You're anything. right. Scott You're right. Scott doesn't do it unless he's forced to do it. No, I'm not forced. I apologize. Go to Gary. I'm sorry for... Go to Gary. <laughs> Absolutely. And Gary will assign it to the person who can get it done quickest. Absolutely. Now, quick and Scott, don't go in the same sentence. Oh, stop it. What? Stop it! I tell you, I can't take it around here anymore. I got 57 fucking guys. Oh, well, it's not fair of me to blame Scott. It's not his fault. No, it's supposed that there's an order out there. That's right. If, I, if Scott knew breached. he had to have it, he would have had it. Yeah. I apologize, Scott. But Jason, what's with you not going to Gary? Where's Scott? Come here. I have a, an apology. I'm out of my mind from this. I, you see, I, I hate this. No, I, I understand. Why are you making my life miserable now? I'm so, I gave it to Just the guy. Just go to Gary. That's what I got the fucker here for. Okay, I'll give everything to Gary. Think I, I got him here for his looks? <laughs> I gave Scott the audio at 7 a.m. this morning. I didn't know it was going to be a thing. But it's never going to come out of there if You're Scott right. doesn't know that You're right. Scott didn't I'm know. sorry for trusting Scott. I'm sorry. I can't blame I'm sorry. Scott. Don't no. apologize Don't to me. Don't trust I mean, Scott. You know, no, I'm I, apologizing to you. you. This is not your fault. I mean, I even had it on my computer. I was just Understood. trying to get to it for, for the morning. I'm not mad at you. Don't. It's just... It should have been done. We're no, all no, to blame. No, no, no. You are not to blame. I said you are not to blame. Okay, fine. Accept it. Thank you. Jason's got to go to Gary. He's right. I, I skipped a step. I apologize. Don't skip steps around I'm here. I'm sorry. I won't. Jesus. R Riley Martin negotiation tape, and Steve Langford has it. That's if I wasn't hot. standing here, you'd have it already. All right. So, thank you. Thank right. you for that. I mean, come on. We got good material. We die for material like that. We'll play it at noon. I think you guys are dieting too much. Your brains are, uh, are, are getting cooked. What do you think of that, John Hine? I mean, really, what do you think of this? I think uh, isn't that a major piece of tape? Of Riley, course, Riley, Riley negotiating. Tim negotiating. I think Jason tried to get it done and bypassed Gary for whatever reason to do it, and it didn't happen. But I could see why he'd be so frustrated. I am frustrated. Am I be? Am I overreacting? I know I'm gonna get 20 email. You're a fucking scumbag. You yell at your staff. But what am I supposed to do? Robert, am I wrong? Well, unless, it, it, I, I, unfortunately, it seems that if every once in a while you don't do that, what happened here happens more often because they forget the order. You've set up this system so that things reach you in a timely fashion, and Scott knows the priority of tapes and other work he has to do. But if they're going to jump the gun and just go and give Scott tape, he doesn't know what to do with it. And the only way that seems to stay on track is there's a little tweaking session like this. And, you know, if Gary comes to me and says, I got tape of Riley Martin negotiating with Tim, I know the yeah, audience Yeah, Gary go can't come to you. He doesn't even know it's there. <clears throat> now, here it is, 10 o'clock, and I'm hearing about it for the first fucking time. From Steve Langford. Steve Langford, I'm hearing from. Even he, you should be yelling at him. Why didn't he get tell you soon? Why didn't he promote he that He could earlier? promote the news all day. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> and that Gary boy, he sits back there. 
Gary thinks he has a working system. He, you know, he didn't. Uh, hey, Robin, every no. system you have never breaks down. No, I'm, I'm defending you. You're Gary, not understanding you what break, I'm saying. I'm it, defending you. You break you. down every day. Yesterday, it was the diet thing. You acted like it was the first time we ever did it. You know what? It's, again, I'm, I'm not going to. Got to get on your game. Get on your game. Get on your game, Gary. Get on your game. Your people are not communicating back there. <laughs> you should be screaming like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Watching Sal dancing. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Robert, can I do the news? No, no, no. Uh, let me ask you something. Can you yell at the people out there like Howard yells? No, he can't. That's he, what he the said, problem is. Will and Jason, the I two can't yell at the people like that if you don't have a microphone. Give me a microphone and I'll yell at them. <laughs> Good. Yell at them, Dave. You got a microphone right now. You got a right microphone, now. yeah. Let's hear it. <laughs> Listen, you fucking assholes. Don't fucking make me look like shit. Right. That sounded real good. <laughs> Sounds like you're real pissed. Yeah, you know what it is, though, too? It's my fault because, like, even with Gary, he, he, every day, you know, do what you want, laissez-faire, and everyone just takes advantage that, of my... I'm a nice guy. That's, that's my problem. I am a nice guy. Are you not? No, I am. I, unfortunately, I am, Gary. If you think that I, 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 let me tell you something. If somebody was going past Lorne Michaels, it, it wouldn't be here. But you sure no one's ever I, fucked I, up on Lorne Michaels' show ever. I don't know. That makes one mistake I tell you what, fired. nothing gets on the air except for Lorne Michaels knowing about it. I'm sure that everyone that makes any sort of mistake uh, is You fired. know what, Gary, I'm not going to argue with you. You're, you're right, I'm wrong. What I'm do I know? I'm not saying that I'm right. You, I'm you, you did that... a great job. You Thank might, you. You must be perfect. Tell, why don't you sit down with Jason and Will instead of talking to me and figure out how you guys I will, but I don't want to interrupt the show, Howard, because then if I go talk to them, you'll be pissed I'm not paying attention here. All right, thanks. Thanks. You'll, you'll always find something. All right, thanks, Gary. Sorry, Please, I, must, I must be wrong. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Yeah, go, go find the tape. All right, Steve, what, what other tapes do you have that I don't know about? Well, so if you don't hear that tape here in the next hour, stay tuned to Howard 100 News all day long as we you hear... You won't hear it in the next hour. At some point, i got to end this show. It's already 10 o'clock. Why am I sitting here all fucking day and do shows? Well, it's he's talking hours. about the news. You won't be here to hear it. Oh. Steve, don't start suggesting when we finish the show now. That's your fault. Now go ahead. <laughs> we will hear Riley Martin go at it with Tim Sabian. Riley reportedly seeking 20000 bucks a show, 10000 for his co-host. Oh, what I'd love to hear that. Oh. But that's, I mean, this is unreal to me. I'm going home. I can't take it. My head's going to explode. I fucking hate this. Early lunch. 57 people here. Oh, well, well, okay, we got to hire another person. How many people am I going to hire? Just get a piece of goddamn tape on the air. <laughs> Remarkable. Yes. Is tonight the end of the Riley Martin Show, Midnight Eastern, Howard 101. What, you got the tape now, Gary, so I can go to 3 or 4 o'clock? Uh, what do you think I am, robo-DJ? Would you rather not have it? I know we didn't have it, so we got past that. You yelled at me for would that. Would I would rather you, not have it? No, you because, because you know I'm going to listen to it. I'm gonna do, I, I don't want to disappoint my audience. Of course i got to have it now, but I'll go to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. All right. Then yeah, all right. It's not ready. It's all right with you. Then it's not ready. Get the fuck out of here. What the hell's wrong with you? Don't play games with me, pal. If you want it, it's there. If you don't want it, then don't Good, fuck good. Well, then put it up so I can be here till 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's up. Maniac. It's up. Good. Fight. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, but, but I'm a dog. I'll see you Do you want to know day. where the fuck it is or not? That's all I want to know. I, you already browbeat the shit out of me, so do you want to know where it is? I don't want to know anything from okay, you. Then, then don't tell me anything. Just go meet with Jason and we'll figure out how you're going to get this shit on the air during my time slot. <laughs> I like he's angry at me for wanting to get things done right. I That's know, the reverse psychology. These guys going to yell at me because uh, I want it done right. Because I wanted it at 6 a.m., not at 10 oh, You're yelling at me for giving it to you now. Where, no, where I, that's not why I'm yelling at you, Gary. Where do you, where, what can I possibly do besides fucking do die? Do your job. Besides die, do your job. Do? do your job. Do right, your job. Do your job. Now what? No, I don't know. Exactly. If I don't, don't know what you can do. How am I supposed to know? Don't yell at me, fuckface. You're the one who screwed it I'm up. I'm saying if you don't know what I'm supposed to do, I'm trying to give it to you now, and you're just, no matter what I do, if That's I breathe, right. it's, it's, you're going to yell at it's me. It's done. Thank you. Damage done. Am I asking too much? 
Am I? Am I, Robin? You're the voice of reason. It's a very simple thing, and and quite frankly. It's true. Nothing gets on the air without going through Gary. Yeah. They I mean, forget the system. It's like it's like like no one can retain, retain that information. Can't retain it. I'm going to write a big sign. Retain what? That I didn't know there was a piece retain of paper. No, that no, your don't staff is you. not following God, the rules. God, How mean? many times are we going to work on it? How many times before it, we, we 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 throw our hands up in the air and say you 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 can't run your staff? Thank you. There should be a big sign in there. Everything goes through Gary. That's it. Artie, am I crazy? Wake up. Uh, well, listen, uh, the, obviously there's people in the back who don't operate at the same intellect level that we do. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Here is the tape now, boss. It's 11 past 10 o'clock. I'll do what anything. What if you start to, doing it now? I'll do anything to get out of here by a quarter. Huh? You could be here till 5 p.m. Do a show all day, and we'll get to everything. Realize, of course, that you spent more time bitching about it than actually Don't playing. Don't tell me what I'm doing wrong now. Worry about what you're doing wrong. I'll figure out my fucking situation. Now, uh, for people who were... We were talking about this a couple of weeks ago. This is what the Thursday meeting used to be like for two hours. Mm. It's not true. I wouldn't talk this much at all. <laughs> Did I overreact? <laughs> yeah. Am I overreacting? I mean, I, I don't know. You see, I, this show matters to me so much. A tape like that, to me, sounds funny. And there's an ebb and flow to this show. I plan it out in the sense that I go, okay, i got five cool things here to do. And within the four hours, and then usually the last hour, we, you know, Robin wraps things up. So I'd like to, at some reasonable time, say, hey, look what I got, make a big deal about it. You, you in other words, I know in the grand scheme of life, it's not important to people. But this is, I take this show seriously, and I've got 50 guys back there. But it won't nearly be as pertinent if Riley's gone after tonight. Yeah, yeah tonight, and then I could have promoted his show. Yeah. I mean, it's a big deal that we have that tape. And Tim does his job, gets the tape, gives it to Jason, and then it's almost like, well, what else am I missing, too? Like, can I trust these guys? Like, we have mail come in every day, and they're supposed to go through it and look for CDs that listeners sent in and stuff. And I, and I, I, I tremble at the thought of what is missed because I take this job so seriously. That's why I'm successful at it. Oh, it's, it's and when no, people don't have the same intensity as me, it panics me. It this absolutely is exactly panics what me. Were like. This was exactly I'm what glad. So, so my meetings are useless, is what you're saying, because nothing's changed. Oh, it's important Tell me what I should say to you, to Gary. Everybody. What should I... Like, like, like Richard was just saying, like you sit and you think about whether the mail's been gone through, and it is going, being gone through every day, yet you ignore the mail, you know, stuff from the mail page. But it's fine. It's there for you when you want it. It's not, no, I but need it's it when I need it. We know it's there. But what isn't there is what bothers me. I wonder what else am I missing. Like, when would I have learned about the Riley Martin phone call? Two days from now? Maybe never. Maybe it would have gotten buried in that sea of work that Scott has back there. Who knows, Gary? Who knows? I, I, I have an issue on that, too. I think you're letting Scott... I, I think that Jason absolutely should have brought it to me, no doubt. I think you're letting Scott off the hook a little bit. Well, good. Don't Why don't I just sea. alienate everyone? No, I don't think there's a sea of work. I think there's a lot of work that we've the, taken the, away from him. The work that, is supposed to go... a lot of times when... when Part oh, of the, how do I get part, him out of my of head? Net, I can't but, turn off his mic. Hold on a second. Part I don't the, know how to do it. Part of the safety net for the system is when somebody gets safety stuck to something, net. he'll call me and he'll say, All right. Gary, what's the priority? Here's the safety net. Here's the safety net. Take the safety net and stick it around me and lock me up at a funny farm. Like a butterfly net. If that's what the safety net looks like, take it and put me in there and throw me in a mental institution. Thank you. Safety net. Just bring all the shit to Gary, and Gary knows about it, and he tells me. Such a simple system. I don't know. How much, how much more, e how easy can it be? Because of all of these kinds of things, that's why the, it, the system of bring everything to Gary was created. Yeah. Unreal. I'm exhausted. I'm drained. I'm drained. I rely on Gary to run this. I see he's typing on his computer. Who knows what he's typing? He's like, I, I I'm must, book a fucking guess. I must remember. <laughs> You're not going to start that. You should get a big chalkboard. Take this up to the chalkboard. <laughs>
<laughs> right, and five, right. What is he typing? Five hundred dear, dear Tommy Shaw. <laughs> if you must know, type it away. It, why don't we just uh, take another minute? This is the part where you talk about what a fucking moron I am. That I, never I didn't say you're a moron. That I never learned how to type. I'm watching you peck away there, <laughs> dear Tommy. P. Oh, where's the M? <laughs> Pecking away one. You take a typing lesson. With that one finger. One finger. <laughs> Get that one finger. It's the same finger he smells when he's in talking to me. Hmm. That finger's very busy. It's typing. Oh, it's so it's, busy. <laughs> it's smelling. Picking. <laughs> Look at Sal. <laughs> Sal's typing. Look at his monkey costume on. Pecking away one finger at a time. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, it's like if you found out your accountant misplaced 20 grand, then you'd say, well, yeah, I wonder what else he misplaced. You know oh, what I mean? Well, no, this is more like the IRS comes knocking at your door mm -hmm. and they say, you know, Mr. Stern, we are charging you with tax fraud because you didn't pay. Right. And then you find out your accountant forgot. Yeah, right. Well, it's his fault. <laughs> fault is it <laughs> I mean I'm drained I'm drained and when he says he's you're letting Scott off the hook that means he doesn't want to yell at Scott right you well, can I, no yell at I, I believe you, I have no problem with that Robin uh, okay. it's no not problem. Scott's yell fault at Scott. it's not but Scott's fault but if Gary fault. has an issue there then he should take care of it he shouldn't give it back to you yeah oh no he wants me to go yell at Scott now I'm not looking, I'm not looking what for you to said. yell at Scott uh, you right. know what? I'm not gonna fuck this. Good. That's the best thing you said today. <laughs> Somehow it's my fault. I was in good shape today. Did the best I could. Can we do the Riley Martin tape in the news? That could be news. All right. Whatever. I'll. I'll you're you're um, in charge of that. I will uh, work around it. All right. So tonight is Riley Martin's. "Quote unquote last show, uh, unless there has been a change in the negotiations." <laughs> oh, Howard. great! Yeah, I think that we may have a tape of no. some of the goings on. I don't have it. You don't? No. I hope you're happy. I do have it, but I have to tell you where it is if you want. Tell to. Robin. Don't tell me. Robin. Oh. Yes. Oh. Robin, this is what you need to know. It's on Gary preview page. Bottom right hand corner in pink, and what I listened to the first four minutes of it, and it was so good, and I wanted to get in so quickly. Get that fucking thing off me. And then I didn't, uh, I didn't listen to the last four minutes, but I, I wanted to get in it quickly, and I assumed that it was going to continue to be good. All it right. Was so good. <laughs> Fuck. On the uh, Gary preview page two in the lower. Oh, I got it. I one. got it. I preview got it. page one. I'm, I'm sorry. I was quick as a whip. <laughs> Hey, I wanted to pick up where we left off, and if we could uh, kind of continue the conversation about uh, going forward uh, with you doing the show. And I know that you're at five million, and I'm at three hundred, so there's a bit of a gap in. Yeah, well, hey Tim, come on, man, let's don't uh, get into uh, uh, the juxtaposition of jousting with one another. Start giving me a reasonable number frame. Based upon <laughs> uh, my uh, uh, import to you, and 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 we can deal. Please don't <laughs> carry me through this game. Okay. Well, <laughs> look, it's wow. not. There's no skin off your people' nose to do something decent. The max I can afford is four hundred dollars a show. Uh, max. Bullshit. That's bullshit. It. I'm telling you, that's max I can do. Bullshit. Well, then it's Oh, uh, you give on. Uh, okay. Stern, who is my hero. Mine, too. Makes $18,000 a minute. <laughs> uh, so How do you know that? I can uh, calculate things in my fucking head, fool. <laughs> Be so kind. I have to take $400 and roll it, you know, like up in a, like, you know, you do a money roll and stick it in your ass. <laughs> Raleigh, do you realize that that's six dollars and sixty-six cents a minute? That's a lot. Uh, motherfucker, I can't even live in Jersey at four hundred dollars a week. I am not just a man. I am a phenomenon. <laughs> uh, 
a cornucopia or dictionary or time, space, knowledge uh, and uh, revelation to the extent as to where uh, the truck driver as well as the physicist can understand what I'm saying. Now, if you don't want to pay me, son, and let me die poor, then get uh, get that girl uh, that uh, uh, fucks horses or something to do your next show. So you're saying then that you don't want to do the show anymore? I'm not going to do the show for Trump change, no. Okay. Well, we're going to miss you, Riley. I'm going to miss you, too. All right, so if you have a change of heart, please feel free. No, I have no change of heart for no four fucking hundred dollars. Forget that. That's dead. Okay. If you have a change of heart, you fucking, you call me. Okay. Tonight or tomorrow night is your last show, son. Okay. All right? I'll look forward to it, Riley. Okay, take care. All right. See you Bye. Too. Bye. Riley's got a good idea. If that girl that fucks horses is available, yeah, give her she 20 can have grand an hour. Show. I'll give her 20 grand a show. <laughs> Remember that tape, The Chicken Fucks Horses? <laughs> haven't played that in a while. I know. He remembers that. Yep. She's got an act. Well, we'll tune in tonight at midnight, Riley's uh, final show, so he says. I don't believe it. I believe Riley will be back. Um, usually, Riley needs a cooling off period. Right. He's that kind of negotiator. Well, what are the odds of uh, Riley coming back? Artie, will Riley be back? Yes. I'll give it. Mm, I'll give it eight to five. All right, Fred. Seventy percent chance says he'll be back. Seventy percent. Seventy percent. I would put it. I up think to he'll take a hiatus of maybe three weeks. I would put it up to eighty-five. Ooh. I'd put it up to ninety, and three weeks sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. But well, I could be wrong. Once nobody starts, you know, coming up for those uh, yeah, stickers or whatever he designs anymore. Well, the whole point is, if he can take it somewhere else for more money, he should. Hello, CNN. <laughs> <laughs> Give Scott something. Thought he'd do it. I thought he'd saw, think no. It was an awesome piece of tape to work on. But uh, he needs he needs Gary to kick him in the ass. That's all. So I should have gone to Gary. Should have let Gary know about it much earlier. I didn't think about it. And you know now I'm getting fucked for it. Jason Kaplan seems to think that you're at fault and that you should have known that this should be done in a timely manner. Well, I know is he came in here and he said here you get the audio. Here's the phone call. I said when do you need it? He said. Just listen to it, you know. Cut it down, and when you get when you get some time, then we'll I'll listen to it, and we'll we'll see what we got. But he he conveyed no sense of urgency, Scott. No, no, no. Not to, if he would have. If he was said we want it for today's show, or how, you know, it'd be good for Howard to get it. I I would have done. I started working on it, and then I got interrupted um, by other things, and then I was getting back to it, you know, when we had just when Howard had just called for it. There is no trust left here. Everything will go through Gary. So from now on, that's it? I, I, everything's going through Gary. At the very least, if something goes wrong, then I will yell at Gary and not me. If, if for that reason only, I will put everything through Gary. He doesn't even know it's there. Listen, it all leads to me. I, I run the show, so absolutely can't start blaming underlings for shit. Well, Jason's stance seemed to be that Scott needs to have a sense of urgency. He needs to understand that something he with Riley... He does and he doesn't. I, w I, I wish that Scott would have said to me, sometimes he gets stuff, and what he would do in the past would call me and say, hey, I got all this stuff, prioritize it for me. But we're supposed to give it to him and prioritize it for him first. Throwing out you know, the parameters of what people's jobs are, right. yeah, Scott probably should have looked at that and go, wow, this is pretty important, but I don't know what else Scott had on, on his plate. I don't know what else he was doing. Maybe he had something that was more important. And then, but I wish he would have said to me, "Hey, Gary, Jason gave me this." Generally, he would say to me, "Hey, Gary, gave, Jason gave me this uh, this uh, Tim Riley call," and I would be like, "Oh, let me come in and listen to it." But he didn't, and then it falls right on your lap. Right. And then the entire, you know, Howard's hammering on you. It, it turns into a whole, you know, I need to start cracking the whip. This laissez-faire attitude doesn't work. Yeah, I mean that's that's, a, that's the part off. that bums me out because it's not a lazy fair attitude. And then he went into that whole rap about how he doesn't know what else is it getting done out here, and he's not out here. He doesn't see the operation. So when one thing goes wrong, to suggest that the whole operation is a shit operation, it bumps us out because it's not. So we do an unscripted, unrehearsed show, and considering that, I think we do a very good job. All of us, Howard, Robin, and the guys in the back office. Speaking of the guys in the back office, when all this is going down. Sal, as always, is just ready to hammer on you. He's ready to just kick you when you're down. 
at this point, is there? Are you just so used to it that it doesn't phase you, or is there still that little part of you that's like, fuck you, man? You know what? He's struggling because uh, he's been writing bits, and Howard hasn't been playing him, and he hasn't been that funny. He hasn't really written a funny bit since December, so he's got to fall back on what made him famous. You know, I guess it's like, you know, when uh, when a one-hit wonder has to play that same stupid fucking song over and over again, that's what Sal does. So God bless him. At least he's got a hit song. I don't know what Vol's problem is. I went out, I told Scott to get that audio together, and he didn't do it. And Vol feels at me. What am I supposed to do? It's not like I'm a producer of a show for 20 years. I don't know what to do. I'm just a dumb, stupid monkey running around talking about Hall and Oates and John Mellencamp and doing stupid rapper shows. And I talk too much, too. So I don't know what false problem is. I got to go back to typing now. Take care. Goodbye. Dear Mary, please have my bananas ready. For me, when I get home, I say goodbye. I got work to do. <laughs> All right, let me, uh, Robin. Thank happening. you very much. Uh, everybody, thank you. I'm sorry I had a meltdown on the air. I, I, I take the show very. I apologize to Gary, Will, and Jason for my outrageous behavior. I think it was justified. Oh, well, in that case. He takes his apology. No, back. I don't. I don't like to make things personal, but I do. When I have my meltdowns, I can't control them. I'm like uh, Phil Naomi Ramone. Campbell. I'm like Phil Ramone without the gun. Oh. <laughs> I think more like Naomi Campbell. I'm more like Naomi Campbell. I just couldn't find my diamond-studded <laughs> cell phone. I just care about the show, so please don't send me an email saying what a skunk I am. Too late. <clears throat> Too oh, late. It's already started. Yeah. It's already oh, coming yeah. in. What yeah, it say? Just, you know, it's, they're they're basically. Read me it. I mean, there's there's some that are like complimentary and on your side, and then there's <laughs> others that are not. Okay, here's a preview. Oh no. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of me. <laughs> Howard, you've been such a happy, contented, funny guy since coming over to Sirius, but since you got engaged, you turned back. Okay. Uh, I am under some stress. Starting to sound like a bitter old man. <laughs> uh, Howard is totally wrong. Mistakes happen. It's okay. He doesn't have to blame Gary and yell at him for every little thing that doesn't go right. He's right. He's right. Gary he's does right. a great job, and Howard should kiss his feet every day. All right. Howard, lay the fuck off of Gary. He has covered your seagull ass more times than you know. It's your okay. fucking problem if your people don't know what to do with good tape. <laughs> Yeah, that, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, well. He's having a Wah, I have to stay late. Wah, shut the fuck up. Ah. So you have late. to stay extra to listen no, to Riley's Tim negotiation No, we could have built the whole show This is the email. It. It's not me. I feel it's you. <laughs> Dude, you're only on the air four days a week. A little overtime All once right. in a while okay. won't he's hurt you. He's missing the point. It's a flow <laughs> to the show. You know? Howard, the last few days seems like he's been on the rag or something. This must be what it's like after you get engaged. Poor guy. He's feeling the pressure. Ha, 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 ha. Well, let me just say. You know, you really need to apologize who? to more than anybody will. Why Be will? Because Will got pulled into this whole thing. He didn't even do anything. That's true. Will and has nothing to do will with goes, it. Will goes, how the hell did I get stuck Well, I feel like Will and Jason are Siamese twins. Because right. <laughs> Jason talks to Will. Right. And used to live fine. with him. Right. Will, you, I apologize to you for sucking you into this. You had nothing to do with it. Jason, <laughs> Gary, I am over the top, clearly. I have reactions that are just like as if you murdered me, as if you put a knife in my heart. We all care about the show. We do. Well, I know can you I, do. I, can I just Jason, do you know that? I don't want you going on more antidepressants, you fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll, uh, he's no, I'm trying still, to lose weight. They haven't raised my uh, dosage. No, they haven't. I'm gonna go I understand your wrist. anger, and I apologize, too, for messing up. And and look, there was we'll a mess forward. up, but my reaction was over the can, top. Can I, just get, I apologize. Can I just get 10 seconds? Yeah. The only thing... The I, only... As a favor to the audience, I will edit that out of the show, my tantrum. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that bothers me is that we do work really hard and we do care about you the do. show. And, and when a mistake like this happens, it's not indicative of how... Like, you don't see the office run, so you think that that's how the office runs all the time. And no, it and I, I don't know how you. to express I my disappointment. You. But I promise you it's not how right. the office runs. All right. Thank all you. Right. Thank you. All right. There we go. See you, Cardi. Look, there's an ebb and a flow, and it was disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for understanding. I'm with you, man. If I knew how to email, they'd all be on your side. Thank you. I know Robin likes when I crack the whip.
I just got. Oh, stop it! I get uncomfortable too. <laughs> you even shut up during it. <laughs> My biggest question right now is. Uh, you, you guys want... just let me go. Wow. Well, I think he turns Rob gonna... and on. She goes, "Oh, he's so powerful." <laughs> By the way, the meltdown will be on Howard TV tomorrow night. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Was I wearing my shades during it? Thank you. 